hi guys welcome back to today's market breakdown and then on today's market breakdown we're looking at nzdchf from the daily time frame to the lowest so that we can find good entries so before we get into today's video i want to tell you that we have a special running of 500 of which is 27 dollars for a lifetime and then we are just offering mentorship signals zoom sessions and the strategy cost and then uh on today's video we're looking at this market structure here so as you can see we have been pushing to the upside at some point and then looking at the weekly time frame the overall move was to the downside you can see that this is the overall trend of which is pushing to the downside as you can see around this point we had a lower high a lower low lower high lower low lower high lower low as you can see and then lower high lower low lower high and then we haven't created a new lower low of which is this point here this is, can be our target on the lower time frames so this is the lower high and then we expect a lower low to break this previous lower low around this point now so looking at the daily time frame that is where we had like a few areas just because this is the substructure guys this is the substructure but you can see that we have the same momentum pushing to the upside creating a higher high higher low a higher high higher low higher high higher low so instead of having a higher high around this point here we created a lower high and then we had the lower low of which we broke structure around this point here after breaking breaking the structure around this point then you can just use this BOS. And then as you can see, the last candle that broke structure is this one here. This one around this point here, of which is the blue one. And then if you don't understand like this type of concept whereby you get like your supply area using uh, the last candle that broke structure, you can just use like your FIB tool and then just do this. So as you can see, we are at discount price around this point here. The side here is discount price. That is where you look for selling opportunities. And then this is the extreme. This box will just give you like good entries all the time just because you can just take risk entries. They don't work all the time, but they are good in that type of area, guys. So looking at this area also, we had like some type of an imbalance price action of which you can just cater for it. I'm just showing you like the thought process of everything when you are analyzing like your charts <clears throat> and then looking at this here we had like another break of structure and then you can just do this i sorry about that this is the bos at the bottom and then looking at this area here we had this area here as our last candle that broke structure as you can see here you can just refine it on the lower time frame and then after getting this break of structure we created a lower low then we have the lower high and then after that we have a lower low so you can just use this also as our break of structure and then after having the break of structure you can see that we have some type of liquidity resting above this point here with double top areas so you can just do this and then you use this so as you can see around this point we also had like the last candle that broke structure of which is the supply area so this is the area that you are going to use and then as you can see we tapped this area a lot of times present being we have liquidity resting above this point that is why we had this weak creation and then we pushed to the downside so looking at this substructure here we had this lower low lower high lower low sorry about that and then we had the higher high higher low higher high higher low higher high higher low higher high higher low guys and then we had this area here as our lower high and then after having the lower high we had this break of structure of which it gave us the lower low and then this is the break of structure that we're going to use this one here and then you can just illustrate it by using the bos as i always said and then if you don't understand the concept of using like your fib tool just comment below and then i'll create a video on how to use like your fibonacci tool so that you can find good supply and demand areas so this is the high to the low and then after doing that you'll see that we have this supply area around here of which we tapped the supply area and then we are on the daily time frame so on the lower time frame that is where you can just refine each and everything so i'll just remove the fib tool here and after removing the, the FIB tool, you'll see that we had the lower low, lower high, lower low. So with which this is the break of structure. 
So moving to the lower time frame, what we're looking for is for the market to break the low here that I marked out at 530, 53090, which this is the low. And then we also have a low around this point of which is 55183. So as you can see around this area here on 580, 5856 guys as you can see 53073 five, three, that's where we have like our target so looking at the four hour time frame so on the four hour time frame as you can see using your feed tool again if you want you can tap you can just do this you can see that we tapped around this point here of which that's our last candle that broke structure and then you can see that we are at that uh low cost area whereby you can just look for those selling opportunities, guys. So this is the area. And then looking at the current market structure, what I'm seeing is that we had another break of structure, of which is here. Then after having the break of structure, I can just try and mark it out, BOS. And then we had another BOS here. And then we had the imbalance price action, which is here. IMB and then after having that imbalance price action you can see that at the top of the structure we also have a supply area that we can use as you can see then using your FIB tool again from the high to the low on the four hour time frame you can see that it's in line with the extreme zone so we can look for those selling opportunities around here and then we take it to the downside so on the lower time frame of which is the hour that is where we look for our entries so on the hour time frame as you can see we have price action playing around this point of which this is a strong supply area that you can use so what i'll do is that i'll just cater for each and every candle that is in here so that we don't miss out on the trade so in in this area here that is where you can just place your sell limit at the top of the structure the stop can be just above and then you're targeting the lows just like this so this is the overall trade for 24 percent guys so that is how you formulate a trade now. So looking at the lows also, we have the imbalance price action. We have some type of liquidity resting above this point, resting above this point here. And then this can also be the supply area that we can use just like this. And then we can use the supply area also. So what I'm thinking at the moment, if I have two supply areas, what I do most of the time is that I look forward to seeing what the market will do when it reaches like my high point of values. If it reaches this point and then pushes to the downside, comes back and then pushes to the downside again, creating that break of structure and then we come back to the new supply area, then I'll be looking for selling opportunities of which this type of movement is a confirmed entry. And then at the top of the structure, I always look for risk entries. So at the moment, what you can do is that I'll just remove everything here so that you can uh, look for another entry setup that I'm thinking will come up very, very soon. So let me just remove this. Yeah, remove a few of these things here. So putting back the supply area that we have, we have two supplies. And then this is the one that I'm looking at at the moment. So as you can see here, we had the lower low and then we had the higher low and then we had the lower high and then we had the higher high around this point and then we had the higher low and then we had the higher high also so we have another break of structure which is here and then this is a trade that you can take if you are into short-term trades so the extreme zone is this one here from the high to the low or from the low to the high this is the area that you can use so as you can see here what you can look forward to getting is a short-term buy whereby we can target this area or target this area for us to initially sell off. So this is the short-term trade that you can take on NZD CHF, guys. And then this would be like this. And then since we are at the extreme zone, you can just look for those uh, risk entries just like this. Then you're targeting the highs for about 14%. And then if you're into uh, using like large stops, you can just use like this large stop of which it, could, it will give you like 4.48% of which it's not cool. So rather you take a tighter stop and then you get like 14% from this trade and then you can pass your FTO more account using Ridley's setup guys. And then I'd be glad if you pass like prop firms using like my setups 
just because I will know that I put in something in your uh, trading journey, guys. So uh, I'll see you on another video. I hope you enjoyed this one. And then each and everything that I'm sharing uh, in this video, guys, will be beneficial to you if you take it serious. And then, yeah, guys, I'll see you on another video. Peace and love. Then I'll see you. Peace, peace, peace out.